our mission is to help companies raise money so they can go out and change the world. They change the way you live, work, and play every single day. So in my time as a doctor, I've done a lot of pretty cool things. A lot of procedures, a lot of good medicine, but today, something pretty cool too. I worked already, and now I'm at the train station because I'm going to New York City. Because Fix is IPOing and they want me to be there. The New York Stock Exchange, please, well, pretty cool. They didn't tell me they got a car. So now I'm looking for the guy with my name on it because they sent the car. <laughs> what is my life? So they put us up in the Four Seasons, um, but they have like figs tags on the cards. See, it says figs. So, well, I can't show you and carry my suitcase and my backpack and the phone at the same time. Um, it looks like we're gonna go on a disaster of an adventure together. There's no way around me. Damn it, whatever. It works. Oh god. They hooked it up. Holy crap. All right, what we got? I have one of these. I really like it, so. And the underscrub. Hopefully it's big enough. And they made specially embroidered sweatshirts, which is actually super dope. And then there's a bag of things. What's in the bag? What's in the box? Ooh, a new fleece. Awesome. Oh, this is actually really soft. I actually really like these, their fleeces. Oh my god, there's a bunch of stuff in here too. Holy crap, what the hell? Uh, skincare, it looks like. Yeah, Kiri has some, something that has that word on it. Oh, well, excuse me for living. Funsies. To the most awesome humans. I don't know if I qualify, but okay. <laughs> there will be a lot of wonderful things said this week about figs and how great it is that we're going public. And it's definitely been an exciting week for us. But IPOs and businesses are not what drive us, you drive us. You are why Figs exists. You are why Figs has been successful. Tomorrow, Figs will officially be a public company. As we celebrate together, we truly want you to know from the bottom of our hearts how much we appreciate your support and for allowing us to be part of your incredible story. On behalf of everyone at Figs, thank you. supporters who believed in you, all the all the awesome humans that, that supported you along the way, your advisors, your bankers, your families who were there every step of the way. There's so much that goes into this moment, but it is just a moment. It's not the end. It's a milestone on your journey. It's the beginning of the next chapter, but it's a really good moment, so we're going to celebrate it. Scott's by Fix, shoes by Nike, bag by Claire, and Louis Vuitton. <laughs> But that was a lot of fun. It was super cool to see, you know, first of all, all my, you know, friends uh, that I've made through this social media nonsense. And then to see Heather and Trina, who have treated us all so very well for so very long, be able to take their company public and, you know, their baby public. And it's just like, I don't know, it's like super humbling. And, you know, we're all fired up, want to do this for ourselves too. And I don't know how many of us will, hopefully everybody, but uh, yeah, it's just an awesome thing. But they're still partying and I needed to find a bathroom. There's a Starbucks like two blocks away, so I'm headed there. But yeah, it was, so George was kind enough to, uh, to show me One World Trade Center because I wanted to see it. Georgie's a uh, native New Yorker. Maddie, Maddie's sneaking in. Hi. <laughs> so this is something that I wanted to see. I've never been to New York before, so here we are. There's the monument. There's One World Trade Center. I'm using Maddie as, uh, <laughs> as a stand. <laughs> But Georgie, what's up? What does it mean to you? It's a very so I come here every 9/11 with my friend, and it's all like it's a, it's a very sad place. I mean, a lot of people died here. Yeah. You know, it's beautiful, but it's sad. Yeah, it's uh, you know it's 20 years later, and we got so much done, but you know, we still come here and know what everything was like back then. Yeah, they have all the names down here. Yeah. And on 9-11, like the families would come. Yeah. And there'd be like huge crowd. They would all just like stand around the square yeah. and put like flowers in onto, the names. In the names. It's heavy stuff. Important stuff to remember though. 
Hopefully we never see shit like that again. Yeah. It's obviously the next day. You know, Heather and Trina and the Figs team, they I, they go kind of above and beyond for us and we're, we're all super grateful. I know I am and I know a lot of other people are super grateful for the experience. You know, they went all out obviously for the, for the dinner and the after party and everything. And that being said, you know, I wanted to spend as much time as I could just being there and forming the memories that I don't have to look back on my phone to find. And, you know, there's a lot of them that are there that are just like, they're just stuck. You know, and it's, you know, we don't give ourselves enough credit for like the things that we do. And I, you know, I, I'm kind of one of those people that's like, yeah, okay, great. You know, I, I don't think I'm that special. And then people tell you, and you're like, you're full of shit. <laughs> but you know, I'm glad I got to do all those things. You know, I'd never really been to downtown New York City before. And I'm really happy that George could show me, you know, his backyard and, you know, the, the World Trade Center monument and One World Trade Center. Um, you know, I'm very grateful for that. That's something that's very important to me. I remember that very, very clearly. Yeah, it was awesome. You know, that's all for this one. I am going back to studying now, back to reality, and back to work tomorrow. Um, fun, but I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I will catch you in the next vlog.